Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner, speaking with Michelle Watterson, the karate hottie, Invicta FC, Adam Way champion. You're nominated for the comeback of the year. How does it feel to be here at the World MMA Awards and have that to come into with the nomination for uh -huh. comeback of the year? I don't know, I'm really nervous. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it's awesome to be around all these great fighters and legends. Um, but I guess to, to be nominated for like comeback of the year, it, it's kind of like a testament to my career, I guess. And um, just, you know, it, it, I think it's something cool to look back on to show my daughter that I was able to kind of like come up from that challenge and, and uh, be, be victorious, you know, and some, I guess a life lesson that I can teach my daughter in the future. So Absolutely. And being that you're at Adam Weight, I've heard some rumors that you may try out for Tough, for Tough 20 for the strawweight division. Is that something that might come to fruition? <laughs> No, that's just a rumor. Okay. You know, I love Invicta and I love being at 105 and I still feel like there's um, a lot of competition in my weight division and I still feel like, you know, I have some proven to do it at 105 and, um, you know, uh, only uh, time can tell what the future holds for all of that other stuff. But at the moment, um, I'm enjoying keeping that belt around my, my waist. Absolutely. And have you had anybody yet for a next opponent been announced? I do not. So um, I'm eagerly waiting. <laughs> as far as I know, they haven't announced the next card for Invicta yet. Do you have any information on when the next card might be? I don't. <laughs> I thought I'd try. You know, there's a lot of us. We love women's MMA, and it's been finally getting the attention that it deserves. And like you said, you want to set that example for your daughter. Yes. How much, I guess, do you face an adversity kind of a situation with having a daughter and wanting to be able to show her how much it takes to be a champion and to drive and to work hard for what you want? Well, you know, I kind of think it's kind of like uh, two different worlds because as a mother, you're very selfless and as a fighter, you're very selfish, you know. So um, just trying to uh, balance it out and, and, and figure out like the in-between is, is that's the hardest part for me. And how's it working out for you so far? I know you train at Jackson's, is that right? Yes. And so getting the training through and then going into these fights and having these uh, hard training camps where a lot of things get put on you. How, how have you managed it so far? Well, Jackson's is, uh, it's like my second home and, and everybody there is my family. You know, the coaches, I look at like my mentors and my, my fathers and all the guys, I mean, they're my brothers, you know, so I can go there and I can have a bad day, but they're like, they're my family. And so knowing that I have that support behind me um, allows me to continue to trek and push forward. Speaking of those guys and things that you've been, you know, able to do with them as family, I'm curious how you got Travis Brown and John Jones to wear those um, banana hammocks <laughs> in the video helping you promote your fight. Isn't that the best video? Oh, it was fantastic. It was definitely, it should be up for video of the year. How did you get them to do it? You know, like I said, they love me. You know, that we're like family and that they're going to do anything for me to, to promote me and, and, and help help each other out. And, and it was a fun video. I mean, who doesn't think about that? Like all female fight card. Of course, we have to have male uh, ring card guys. And of course, they have to be the hot MMA guys. Fantastic. You definitely got a good group over there to work with. So we look forward to some more of those. Thank you.